This is my motor for my car. I got it tore apart. I'm uh, getting ready to uh, make an adapter for it. I thought it looked okay on the inside. I did I didn't I haven't noticed anything that really I'm um, worried about on the field. Anyway, there's the old uh, spline shaft. But if you look down in there, you can see a little pin across the back. I think the way this is put together is uh, the way it may be put together I think is this here um, this is a collar that's pressed on to this shaft this shaft is turned down this collar is pressed on and pinned in the back then the fan is uh, pressed on to that collar so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut me some steel plates. I'm going to press the fan back off, knock the pin out of the collar, and then I'm going to make a longer collar. And then I'm also going to make the shaft go in the splined hole. So the shaft will actually be uh, go in there, it'll be pinned there, and it'll be probably be pinned or keyed out here. But I think that should be strong enough. I didn't want to make, I could make that spline but it's only uh, like 5 eighths in diameter and uh, I'm a little afraid it may twist in too so anyway that's what I'm working on right now and then while I'm doing that I'll make the uh, I'll go to pick and pull and get a clutch hub or get a clutch plate out of an old uh, Saturn and then I'll make my uh, uh, adapter from that That's the end plate I have to put, uh, I have to advance the brushes on. I think I'm going to make them adjustable. I'm not sure I'm going to do it yet. But, but, uh, I got some stuff I have to work on. These aren't real well, this is not real well insulated all the way down. So I got to find some more of this tubing, I think, and add to it. There's only a couple of them. That one right there. This is the worst one. There's another one there. And that's the bearing I have to change. But if you look, it looks pretty thick right through here. So I think they this is a uh, they make another bearing that's oversized, probably a quarter inch bigger than that one. And I shouldn't, I don't think I'll have to machine this out like I thought I was going to. i got to tap the other two holes though. But that's it, it looks pretty good. They didn't break the brushes in. None of the brushes are chipped, so. i got to seat them in good when I get it done. And it's got, it's got somebody's chewing gum on there for balancing. I guess that's uh, like epoxy putty or something. <laughs>